Kiana. What's up, Rams, and welcome back to the Rams Morning Show. Today is February 1st, 2021, and for today's news, you can use announcements. Students, Monday, February 8th at 5.30 p.m., we will have our Bowie High School registration information presentation. Furthermore, information will be sent to your emails. February 1st to 5th is Counselor's Week. This month is also the start of Black History Month. So this actually concludes today's announcement. See y'all next time. Bye. Hey Rams, happy Monday and welcome back to another College Corner. Today's college is Stevenson University. Stevenson University is a private institution founded in 1947 and located in Baltimore County, Maryland. Stevenson University has recently been named a best value school in the 2021 U.S. News College rankings. Stevenson University has 27 NCAA Division III athletic teams and three Greek life organizations. Stevenson University offers majors in business, marketing, biological and biomedical sciences, law enforcement, homeland security, and so much more. Stevenson University currently has a 87% acceptance rate into dentistry, medicine, pharmacy, physical therapy, and veterinary school, as well as a 100% acceptance rate into law school. Stevenson University has a School of Education, School of Design, School of Business and Leadership. Someone you might know that went to Stevenson University is our own teacher, Miss Brown. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's all for today's College Corner, and you'll see me later on in the video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to Health and Wellness with Yasir Jones. So you may be wondering, why does he have a coat on? <laughs> and outside, it's 30. The heat's on 80. My room is 20. What in the world? I'm leaving. I'm about to go. Um... If y'all are really thinking about my coat, please just look away. Today's topic is on depression. Unfortunately, a lot of students go through depression, middle school, college, and high school. And not saying that it's normal, but it does happen with peer pressure. Now, however, there are some that do suffer with severe depression. So I'm gonna actually tell you what depression is. Usually when you have a low mood, and it's for a very long time, like very long time. And when I say a long time, I mean like a long time. And it can be very hard to snap out of it. So if you're going through depression, here's some things that you usually feel. Well, usually in depression, you just can't snap out of it. It's really hard to say, I'm happy. It's hard. So you're usually sitting there and you're really stuck in how you're feeling. And it, and it, and it hurts. It hurts. It feels terrible. It feels terrible, especially when you didn't get a good grade on your report card. So some symptoms of depression are very irritable for the majority of the day. Noticeable loss of pleasure, of interest. You have a huge significant change in your appetite or weight. Um, this can get very serious. And to all the students that are going through, that have gone through lots of peer pressure, my advice to you is to just be yourself. And <laughs> it's funny because I'm saying that now in eighth grade, when in sixth grade, I would have laughed at my older self. To save you a lot of trouble, just be yourself. Just be yourself. People may not like it. People may not like your quirkiness. People may not like your funniness. People may not like your eccentricness. Forget them. Now let's talk about treatment. Treatment can range from medication or to just some natural remedies. Now, if you're at the low scale of depression and, and if that's just because you got yelled at or something really bad happened, social media, all those things can definitely make you feel depressed. If you have high depression, a remedy is definitely medication, and medication can trigger your brain to being more cautious and not being more like. So self-care is a huge part of managing depression. So this means eating well, exercising. If that's doing three stretches a day, go for it. If that's doing stretches with Mr. Boyles, do it. Smoking, drugs, Anything that falls under the category of 21 years old and older, then you should not be doing it. Now, one of the most critical things, and we talked about this a few episodes ago, it's getting sleep. Sleep is so important. Getting sleep allows you to <sighs> woosa and forget about all the things in your life that's making you frustrated. It feels good to sleep. 
But if you sleep too much and you're depressed, you're going to feel grumpy and a grouch. Guys, I just want you all to know that I have your back. So shoot me an email anytime and I hope this helped. Use some of my tips and tricks. Click on the link in the description below and you have everything you need to prevent depression, to stop depression, and to keep on moving forward because that's what life is about. What's up, Rams? Today we're here with Ms. Cowan, who is a counselor for Bowie High School. So can you introduce yourself and tell us about yourself? Hi, my name is Mrs. Cowan. I am one of two ninth grade counselors uh, at Bowie High School at the Annex, which is a separate building than the rest of our students, where most of you will be coming next year, unless you um, get into another program or your parents want to send you to a different school. But for the most part, we get a lot of students from your school. Um, this is my 23rd year as a high school counselor. Um, and I've been both in the main building and then an annex for the last seven years. So I'm excited to be speaking with you all and I can't wait to meet you face to face next year. So how are eighth graders going to be choosing their classes for their ninth grade school year? Cheris, that's a great question. So what is going to happen next year? Actually, we're changing things up a little bit. Next year, my incoming eighth graders, you'll be getting some information from your counselors. We just met with them last week. Um, you're going to be picking your electives this year. Typically, you don't get to pick your core classes. So your core classes being English, science, social studies, and math. Um, this year, your team of eighth grade teachers are going to be meeting with your counselor to make the recommendations for placement next year. Everyone will go into English 9, everyone will go into biology, everyone will go into either algebra or geometry, depending on which math you're in as an eighth grader, and then everyone will go into U.S. history. So that gives you four classes or four credits, um, and in a year, you're able to earn up to eight credits in a year. So that means you'll have four elective credits, and those are the classes that you all are going to be selecting. And of course, with us being virtual still, you're going to do that via Google Doc. And like I said, your counselors are going to be speaking with you and sharing of the process. They have the Google Doc now once they review over it then they'll release it to the students and then you guys will pick your electives. So electives come in the way, let's say you wanna do a foreign language, an art class, um, your foundations of tech, which is a graduation requirement. Everyone will also take, I'm sorry, there'll be five classes because everyone will also get their gym and health credit satisfied in their freshman year. So that'll be five classes. So you actually have the opportunity to pick three of your elective classes. For eighth graders who are even from my school and from all different schools, will they be able to take their PSATs in their ninth grade year? So typically, yes, this is actually the first year where our ninth graders didn't and what you'll take is the PSAT 8-9 um, and that is usually given in March. So what will happen is we'll make announcements for it. Your parents will have the opportunity to sign up to take the PSAT 8-9 and we typically give that um, one of the days in March. It used to be October, but then they switched it for the PSAT 8-9. So yes, um, anybody who's interested can take it. It's not just for a certain select or group of students. If you are interested in getting that exposure to the the PSATs and what will you'll be eventually taking in either the SAT or the ACTs, it gives you that exposure early on. So students do have the opportunity to sign up and take it in March. Ms. Cowling for allowing me to interview you and thank you very much for tuning in. And if you have any last words you would like to say, please say it now. Please end as strong as possible. Attend your classes, do your best, and understand this is a small bump in the journey. It may not be the way you wanted your eighth grade year to be, but make it the best that you can be. And I know that sounds kind of, uh, but in all honesty, end as strong as possible because how you end your eighth grade year is how you're going to start your ninth grade year. And we want you guys to start with all the energy and knowledge that you have. So stay safe, stay healthy, and continue to look after one another. Well, this concludes our interview. Thank you, Rams, for tuning in. And thank you again for allowing me to interview Ms. Galvin. Thank you, Ms. Holland. I appreciate you. Welcome to Motivational Minute. In honor of celebrating Black history, during the month of February, the quote of the day will be from Black Americans who have contributed greatly to our society. Some of the names you may or may not know. However, why not? 
research the very names in which you do not know. It only help you learn more about black history. So for example, do you know who Dr. Mae Jemison is? Well, if not, she is the first female, and I do mean first, female black astronaut. Wonderful. And I love her quote. Her quote is, never be limited by other people's limited imagination. Oh, that's just so awesome. So in other words, if you think, dream, whatever that is, that's your imagination. And if you talk to somebody else, who imagination is small in size and yours is like way out here. It's really big. Okay. You don't go to someone who's limited, meaning they don't believe in themselves or believe that they can achieve things. So they're not going to tell you necessarily, especially when you always hear the word not, can't, won't, don't. That's a sign right there. They're limited. So if they're limited, don't allow them to tell you to limit your imagination just because theirs is small. Some people limit their own imagination only because they don't believe they can achieve and they will stop you if you allow them. So just as Dr. Jemison stated, never be limited by other people's limited imagination. Think, use your own imagination to take you places. And that is all I have for you today. Be safe. Mwah.